Hello, uh, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a new teaching. Uh, we're going to have a look at passage in the book of James. And uh, we'll just uh, see what he has to say. I'm going to read the text and then go through it. Uh, James 3, verse 2. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able to bridle the whole body. Indeed, we put our bits, of, bits in horses' mouths so that they, obey, they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Look who... Also, at ships, although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small, a very small rudder whenever the pilot desires. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how a great forest. See how a great forest a little kindle fires, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is set among our members that it defies the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird and reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind, but no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. With it, we bless God the Father, and with it, we curse men who have been made in the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these ought to not be so. Does the spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening. Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives or grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt and fresh. Who is wise and understanding, let him show by good conduct that his works are done in meekness of wisdom. Uh, that's a scripture that uh, it's a passage of scripture that can easily be understood. It's saying quite clearly that our mouths uh, get us into trouble. Uh, we tend to uh, backbite. We tend to curse people. We tend to insult people. Uh, I, I uh, sense that uh, a lot of this is done via email and via uh, Facebook posts and comments these days. Um, uh, some people, including myself, will even do a whole post on Facebook to rebuke a person. Uh, sometimes I see uh, someone uh, posting on Facebook and I don't agree with it, and rather than... Uh, posting a comment on their page, I post a rebuttal on my own wall. So uh, if the person sees it, uh, they know that uh, their point or what they believe has been uh, rebutted. And uh, even that is uh, a type of uh, passive, aggressive uh, behaviour. Um, so uh, James... Uh, mentions the tongue here, but it's, it's also our intent uh, when uh, we uh, post uh, posts on Facebook and when we post comments on po Facebook and uh, we <clears throat> do messages on Messenger or when we do emails on email um, and... Uh, we need to learn to uh, have uh, better control 
of uh, of ourselves. Uh, we need to not to allow blessing and cursing uh, to come out of uh, the same mouth. Uh, we there's no use using our mouth. Uh, to praise God and using the same mouth uh, to curse other people and insult other people and write uh, derogatory uh, statements about other people. Uh, James is here reminding us that uh, anyone, he, he says uh, clearly, anyone that can curb his tongue is a perfect man. Uh, so... You may uh, have a lot of things that uh, you don't do. There may be lists of sins that Paul mentions that uh, you've overcome. Uh, James seems to hint that the last bastion, the last uh, piece of overcoming uh, that you may need to overcome is what you say with your own mouth or what you type. <clears throat> in the Facebook and comments. So uh, if uh, you see a post on Facebook that you don't agree with, uh, uh, it's best uh, for you to write a personal uh, message uh, to the person saying you don't agree and here's the reasons why. Uh, it's best for you not to uh, post an opposed opposing comment on the person's page where all their friends can see it um, and uh, it can cause uh, a distraction for the person, cause um, insult uh, for the person and uh, uh, sometimes uh, the person just needs to uh, remove your comment and not even comment on it. I know when uh, people write disparaging comments on my Facebook, I just uh, go to their page and uh, block them. And that's how I deal uh, with people who want to take an approach or take a stance of uh, disagreeing with me uh, in a vehement way, in an outlandish uh, attacking a uh, mode and uh, I've uh, dealt with a lot of people uh, like that because uh, I uh, interview uh, saints in heaven and I speak to what uh, some people assume is the dead and uh, they're very much against me and think uh, what I'm doing is unbiblical uh, so I have a lot of people speak out uh, with their mouths uh, over Facebook and uh, over uh, email and uh, they uh, perceive that they're right and I need to be warned and told not to uh, continue practising what they call necromancy. And uh, I've uh, just developed like a 35-page uh, document where I answer 23 questions and one of the questions I answer has to do with I wish people wouldn't say this uh, to me or something like that and uh, I spend four or five pages describing what I do uh, talking to the saints and how it isn't uh, necromancy uh, but people can lash out uh, with their voices they can lash out on public uh, social media and uh, that's a real problem, uh, and they tend to uh, bring a curse against me. I've had uh, two people in the past week uh, say that I'm practising uh, demonic uh, prophetic gifts, and uh, that's uh, not the case, uh, but uh, they lash out and say that uh, to me. So it's important... As uh, you listen to this, uh, as uh, you read uh, the book of James, as uh, we look at the book of James, that uh, you uh, try to conquer uh, this last frontier 
and uh, learn to think before you speak so that uh, you don't come out with uh, curses and uh, and bad things uh, for people. I encourage you to take stock of uh, what you're doing and uh, what you're saying and, uh, and uh, curb your uh, predisposition to uh, arguing and uh, making uh, points that are uh, uh, curses and, and mocking people uh, with uh, your comments on social media. Uh, so uh, the verses are pretty good to understand. Uh, you can start a whole forest fire with one word uh, and uh, he's got uh, good descriptions of how something little uh, can uh, destroy. And uh, I hope that uh, you can uh, read that and understand uh, for yourself uh, what he's saying. It's pretty simple. Uh, we need to watch our tongues.